our concern is for our citizen students. And I'm just wondering how this works in the classroom if you have, say, a Spanish interpreter, uh, Portuguese, and Chinese, and the teacher, say, is teaching a grammar lesson, and she addresses the class in the front and says, you know, a noun is a person, place, or thing, then do the translators then, are they in front then saying it one at a time? It, it depends on the classroom. Unfortunately, we don't have the funding for one-on-one. -on -one. So in some cases, that's the case. Also, a lot of our students have translators right on their desks. So that's another expense that we do, is we put translators on the desk or actually translating for them during the lesson. But would you say it's slowing education down? It's for absolutely slowing it down. When you have to accommodate so many different languages, it's absolutely <laughs> slowing it down for all of our children. And the most vulnerable are special needs children that need programs. They're really losing. Yes, thank you. And this problem was caused by Joe Biden. He has allowed tens of thousands of unaccompanied minors to flood over our borders, and our children are paying the consequences. The American people are tired of picking up the tab for Joe Biden's failed policies. The American people and the schools and the children cannot handle this anymore.